Five different measurement technologies are used in pressure transmitters. These are piezoresistive pressure sensor, capacitive pressure sensor, thin film resistive pressure sensor, optical pressure sensor and hydrostatic pressure sensors. In today's video, we will have a closer look on each of these technologies. So, let's get started. First is piezoresistive pressure sensor. Uh, piezoresistive pressure sensor is the most commonly used pressure sensor. This sensor uses piezoresistive effect to calculate the pressure. These sensors use a strain gauge made of semiconductor material such as silicon. This strain gauge is attached to the measuring diaphragm inside the sensor. When pressure is applied to the diaphragm, the strain gauge is stressed with the diaphragm. When strain gauge is stressed, its electrical resistance is changed. This change in resistance is correspond to applied pressure. So this is the basic working principle of piezoresistive pressure sensor. Second is capacitive pressure transmitter. These pressure sensors work on the capacitance principle. These pressure sensors have two parallel conductive plates separated by a small gap forming a capacitor. In the capacitive pressure sensors, one plate is fixed and another plate is attached to the sensing diaphragm. When pressure is applied to the sensing diaphragm, diaphragm is displaced and the distance between two plates is reduced and hence capacitance is increased. The change in capacitance is proportional to the applied pressure. This is the basic working principle of capacitive pressure sensors. Third is thin film resistive pressure transmitter. Thin film resistive pressure transmitters are another type of pressure transmitters. These transmitters use a very thin layer of resistive material to measure the applied pressure. This layer is very thin in order of nanometers, making it very sensitive to sense change in applied pressure. When the pressure is applied to this thin layer, the resistance of this layer is changed according to applied pressure and this is the basic working principle of thin film resistive pressure transmitter. Fourth is optical pressure sensor. Optical pressure sensors use optical fibers to measure the applied pressure. The principle of these transmitters is very simple. When light passes through a fiber, its properties such as wavelength change according to pressure applied. By measuring the change in wavelength, the pressure can be accurately determined. And this is the basic working principle of a optical pressure sensor. And fifth is hydrostatic pressure transmitter. Friends, hydrostatic pressure transmitter is a submersible pressure sensor that measures the pressure at the bottom of a tank or reservoir. This transmitter has a pressure diaphragm. The outer side of this diaphragm is in contact with liquid while the inner side of the diaphragm is vented to atmospheric pressure. The pressure is proportional to the height of the liquid above the sensor and this is the basic working principle of a hydrostatic pressure transmitter. Hydrostatic pressure transmitters are used in industrial plants, reservoirs and open channels. And that was all about the pressure transmitters. Thank you for joining us. We do hope that this video has provided clarity about the types of pressure transmitters. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay connected to our upcoming contents. Thank you.